Hello, my name is Mary Cassian. Welcome back to the Girls Gone Wise video book blog. Hey girlfriends, can you remember the last pair of shoes you bought? I've got the last pair I bought right here. They're a snappy pair of red patent pumps. I actually bought them to replace another pair of red patent pumps I wore out. They're kind of like the basic black dress. I figure every woman needs a pair of red shoes. Uh, I grew up with five brothers and I had three sons and I've come to the conclusion that men just don't get the importance of shoes. Do you agree? Girls do. We women get how important our feet are. We need to have the right shoes. Every girl go knows that uh, wearing a pair of jeans with sneakers is way different than wearing a pair of jeans with heels. And we all know that come summertime, we better get out our foot files and sand the calluses off our feet and paint our toenails and have feet that are presentable. Feet is the first thing the sage father tells his son to look at to determine whether a particular woman is a girl gone wild or a girl gone wise. In describing the wild woman, he says her feet go down to death, her steps follow the path to Sheol. Now the sage father advises his son to check out a woman's feet and step and path and ways and you and I both know that he's not being literal. He's not telling his son to check out her shoes or whether or not she painted her toenails or her posture or the way she carries herself. The walk that the father is talking about is primarily figurative. Biblical writers refer to feet metaphorically to describe the way that we live our lives in relationship to God. The son is supposed to check out the woman's feet, so he's supposed to look at her behavior, the way she acts, the way she talks, the way she conducts herself, the choices she makes on a daily basis, in order to get an idea of the inner state of her heart. You see, a girl's feet and her heart are closely connected. If her heart is in love with the Lord Jesus Christ, her feet that's her daily steps, are going to demonstrate that devotion. The heart-foot connection is the first point of contrast between a girl gone wild and a girl gone wise. A wise woman gives the Lord Jesus Christ first place in her heart. Her feet follows the inclination of her heart, so she makes very careful, wise, godly decisions about her relationships with men. She's intentional about making sure that her attitude and speech and conduct pleases the Lord. A wild woman, on the other hand, doesn't have Christ at the center of her affections. Other things take center stage. Her relationship to Jesus is peripheral, shoved off to the side somewhere. In church a couple weeks ago, I heard a girl describing that. She, she shared that it was like she kept Christ in her side pocket for years, just in case. She wanted him to be close, but she didn't want him very close, and she certainly didn't want him in control. Her life reflected the fact that he wasn't in control. She made a lot of bad decisions. And it wasn't until she hit a crisis point in her life that she grabbed hold of Jesus and put him right at the center of her heart. And when she did that, her life dramatically changed. The wild thing who doesn't have Christ at the center of her affections takes missteps in her relationships with men. She messes up. Her ways wander, scripture tells us, and she doesn't even know it. Now you might ask, how can I be seized with a great affection? And the answer to that question is twofold. First, you have to address the condition of your heart. Have a look inside. Is Jesus Christ at the center or is he in your pocket? Is he the relationship around which all the planets in, of your life revolve? Is he at the core? If not, you need a change of heart. The problem is you can't change it on your own. God's the only one who can change a heart. And thankfully, he's more than eager to do so. He gives to those who ask. Those who seek him, find him. He opens the door for those who knock. If you haven't been asking, seeking, and knocking for him to transform your heart, now would be a really good time to start. After you tend to the condition of your heart, you need to attend to the steps of your feet. You need to be intentional about obedience. You need to follow through and do what you know God wants you to do. Read your Bible, 
pray, confess your sin and repent of it. Forgive others, go to church, do a Bible study, memorize and meditate on His Word, share the Gospel, walk by the Spirit. Always remember the close connection between your heart and your feet. So girls, pay attention to your feet. The next time you paint your toenails or put on a pair of shoes, think about the way that you're walking and living your life and whether you're walking the way the Lord wants you to walk. But more than anything, pay attention to your heart. Keep Christ at the center of your affections and you'll be well on your way to becoming a girl gone wise. Remember to post your comments on the blog or get involved in the discussion on the forum. I'd love to interact with you. I'd love to hear what you're thinking and learning. And before we get together next time, uh, take a look and read chapter number one or point of contrast number one between a girl gone wise and a girl gone wild. See you next time.